uh, the, the one that we have given for the longest time. How do you do um, that? <laughs> Um, Rick Seltzer, you wanted to do this for a long time. Would you please? Yeah, I'd be more than happy to. Uh, I know we're all getting. I know we're all getting antsy. Can you hear me without that? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Oh. That's even better if you can't hear me. See? <laughs> I know we're all getting antsy, so I'll make it short. Um, if you'll. Excuse me for twisting Shakespeare. We're here to praise Clara, not to bury her. <laughs> and it strikes me, I don't, know, I don't know, but it strikes me that we have to wait too often until people are gone to say nice things about That's it. That's true. That's or true. to recognize it. That's true. And so I'm very glad that we're here today to recognize Clara Ruddle. I've known Clara for about 20 years. In fact, almost exactly 20 years. <laughs> I met her when she was retiring from one career. It's a hospital administrator, I believe, and switching to her second career, and I think now she's going to be looking at a third career, but her second career, which is Fort Worth history. And in the last 20 years, I've been pleased to do a lot of things uh, with Clara, helping her and her helping me in Fort Worth history. Now, Clara and I are both Aries. <laughs> And some people will tell you that Aries are hard to get along with. <laughs> that they butt heads with people and we're crabby and grumpy. But of course, Clara, that's nonsense, right? Yeah, absolutely. I heard it. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Aries are easy to get along with as long as you let us do what we want to do and get out of our way. <laughs> and Clara has accomplished more in Fort Worth history and preserving it and saving it than anybody else I can think of as far as preserving it in the last 20 years. Not by herself, I'm not saying that, but in working with stuff. The, um, the bell, the Masonic bell, that was mostly, and I'm shortening stuff, but mostly sitting over at collecting dust for many, many years in the Masonic building, Clara helped bring it to life. And now it regularly tours and is out, people see it. That bell goes back to the 1850s. The bell goes back to the 1850s. As far as historic markers, there's at least two historic markers in Fort Worth that I've been a part of. One to Magar Park, which is your first black public park across the Trinity, and then Hagar Tucker, who was the first black policeman in Fort Worth, and Clara helped get those together. And when you write a historic marker, those of you that have done it, no, it's not just writing a marker, you've got to get funding support to get it done. Clara helped get that done. Uh, working with Doug Harmon, she helped put on the Cynthia Ann Parker, Quanta Parker exhibit at the library. In fact, it's been, what, two or three years ago. Helped get that done. Uh, Bill Pickett, uh, preserving, collecting history and photographs of the Stockyards Coliseum. And it goes on and on and on. And it's only because you don't have enough time to hear all of them that I'm not going through a whole list of things. But I want you to please remember and recognize Clara, and again, I knew her back before she was attached to hip to Bob. In fact, when she was... Richard Fillmore Seltzer, who has really been my mentor, and he and I have had more arguments than you could shake a stick at. I've come out winning on one <laughs> years. But I'd like you to do my eulogy, too. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, Ms. Jo. Thank you. You're and welcome. the nomination committee. Good to see you again. Yeah. Jo, and I